Welcome back. I'm Star Con Connor, and joining me this morning is Olivia Rose from the Northeast Michigan Great Lakes Stewardship Initiative. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me on the show. Good. And what do we have here? We're going to be talking about Earth Day coming up, and I see some bags in front of me. What is this? Yeah, so third, fourth, and fifth graders are celebrating Earth Day throughout Northeast Michigan by decorating paper bags with conservation messages like refuse to be a bag monster from uh, plastic bag use or be a part of the solution, not the pollution. Right. Which is really fun. <laughs> right, and um, I'm just looking over the notes and stuff like that. It's a lot of kids. We were talking about how many kids are like participating in this. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, about a thousand students across Northeast Michigan are participating and third, fourth, and fifth graders are getting really geared up about refusing to single use. Um, single-use plastics such as straws, plastic bags, um, bottle caps and things like that and they're trying to brainstorm ways that they can avoid those things so that it doesn't end up in our waterways or in a landfill. Why is it important to do this, um, you know, with pollution all over and we're trying to help the Great Lakes here, mm -hmm. why is that important? Yeah, refusing to single use is really important um, before reducing uh, your plastic waste because once you take that step to refuse, you're not contributing to plastic waste at all, which is just a beautiful concept. And plastic, if improperly disposed, does commonly end up in our waterways. And our Great Lakes are such a valuable resource here in Michigan that why would we want to jeopardize that in any way? Right, and I was looking over some of these bags. These are adorable. You got some from like Ella White and different places. Yeah. How did that process go? And I know you enjoyed yourself <laughs> working with these kids. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, the students, we discuss um, plastics that they use on their daily on a daily basis and then we watch a couple of films one that was actually developed by Ella White fifth graders called Plastics 101 check it out if you haven't seen it and uh, then we talk about plastics and decorate bags and it's a great time because they're learning and getting excited about it and um, obviously excited to share this information with their family in the community. Right, and then also they're gonna be at different places and locations. People can pick up a cute, adorable bag and reuse this. Talk yeah. a little bit about some of the locations. Yeah, so um, at Neiman's Family Market on Earth Day, this upcoming Saturday, these plastic bags from Alpena um, Elementary Schools will be there and open for use. And we're hoping to have a outreach table. So look out for some students that will be talking about marine debris and able to explain these bags a little bit more. Right, now a lot of people always ask me sometimes like, what is Earth Day? Is that just like going green and stuff <laughs> like that? You know, for somebody that doesn't know what Earth Day is, do you actually know? Yeah, Earth Day, um, I mean, it's openly just a day to celebrate our Earth and the natural resources we have here and really do your part to protect those so or spread awareness about the importance of those resources. Right, and protecting these great lakes that we all love. Exactly. And I love you as the shark too. I was talking a little <laughs> bit about that. But keeping it on the great lakes, um, what can people do to make sure they, you know, keep our lake pretty? Like go pick up some plastic if they see or something like that? Yeah, conducting litter cleanups is a super simple way to get started, but um, even easier than that, saying no straw please at restaurants is a really easy thing to do, starting um, to use your own reusable bags and um, bringing aluminum foil when you go to a restaurant so that you don't have to use a to-go to container is also a simple step. All right. Well, thank you so much, Olivia, for coming in today. Thank you. I appreciate that. And coming up next is Sports with Michael Gilbert. Stay right here.